Hey guys, um, I'm here again with another video. I know that yesterday's video, or, or today's, or whenever it's up, I don't know, but my last video um, was a haul, and I keep saying, I promise I'm going to do different videos than hauls, but I may be here with another haul. Don't shoot me, unless you love hauls. I love watching hauls, I love seeing what other people are buying, what has tempted them, stuff like that, I really love it. So if you guys do like hauls, do comment down below and tell me if you like hauls or not. Um, I really do promise that I will be making more kinds of videos, more useful videos for you to watch, um, DIY stuff and such like, but I've just been really busy i don't know every day i get up and i'm like right i'm gonna make this video today and it just never happens and then i just go and buy stuff and then i'm like hey guys i bought more stuff um but yeah i'm going somewhere else so i bought quite a bit of stuff today but a lot of it was actually from the charity shops um none of its clothes it's all kinds of homey wear and lovely trinkety things and jewellery as well so yeah uh, do stick around if you want to see that the first thing i got is this uh, moisturizer it's the good things face the day moisturizer super fruit extracts goji berry and papaya and it's um free from paraffins sodium laurathane something and it's uh, got no animal ingredients or kind of mineral oily things i don't know it's free from bad stuff basically um and this is on offer in super drug at the moment for like 49p um so i was like buy that um the really nice lady who works there called hannah she um has a youtube channel um, which I will link below. I always talk to her when I'm in there and she said that this was on offer for 49p So um, thank you Hannah for that. Really appreciate that. Um, I love a good moisturizer me. I really like the packaging as well Lovely it smells like fruity papaya -y, what you think a, a papaya would smell like um it just smells really nice it's just standard white color nothing special there let's have a feel oh my gosh it's a really milky consistency it, it's quite thick when it comes out of the tube and then it goes really milky as soon as it touches your skin like almost like water um it's quite tacky that's the only thing I can say is it kind of it goes in quite fast but um, okay it's fine now don't worry it's fine the tackiness has gone next makeup kind of thing is the uh, collection 2000 lasting perfection concealer um, I've run out of my other one it lasted me ages the first one I got literally months it lasted me but now it's kind of like I'm scraping at the sides I've still got a couple of times of using it and I think I'm gonna try and melt it out of there so warm it up and then tip it out into a smaller pot because a lot gets kind of stuck on the sides of the inside here um that the wand doesn't quite reach so i want to get kind of every last bit out because i love it so much it's not even expensive so i'm just kind of being like cheap and frugal when i'm like scraping it out but i just think it's a waste otherwise but i did pick up a new one in case it does run out on me um because i really love this it is hands down the best under eye concealer i've ever used it really tones down redness um without my makeup on i actually have really bad red areas um my cheeks are always bright red i mean full on like hello look at me red um and i get a lot of redness around here and my chin um because i have like acne scars and whatnot um but yeah i got this because it is fantastic so definitely guys um if you haven't already please just go and check this out it's only i think 4.99 or something and it is just wonderful um yeah that's that 
Next and last makeup-y thing that I got is um, a lip pencil and I'm really into lip pencils at the moment, um, I don't know why and it is the L'Oreal Paris one and it's in Rosewood and it's the Contour Parfait for lips. I definitely prefer the pencils to the like twistable ones or the more gel like ones I don't know whenever I try and use the the softer gel like ones they just seem to go everywhere like I'll be drawing it and I'm like oops down my face don't know why um, but the pencils they just seem to do a really nice um, shape Dinner. I tell a lie guys, I just said that, that was the last makeup y thing, but I got two lip balms. Is that makeup y? I don't know, kind of ish. Um, but I got two Burt's Bees kind of standard lip balms. I got the, um, what flavour is this? I don't know. This one has pomegranate oil in it, and this one has. Akai berry, aki, akai berry in it. So it's got a purple lid and a pink lid. Um, I've actually never tried Burt's Bees lip balms before. So this is the first for me and I like the sound of both of these. So um, I don't like the smell of the pomegranate one. It smells very kind of spicy, like, you know, um, the spiced apple kind of air wick or any kind of spiced apple um, fragrance or candle or whatever. It just smells like that. It smells kind of a little bit almost cinnamony, that kind of thing. And I don't really like cinnamony smells at all. It's very kind of, yeah, kind of spicy smelling, if you get what I mean. Um, not a big fan of that. I may have to pass that on to somebody else um, because I just really don't like the smell. Ugh, don't like it. But um, this one is uh, the Akai Berry one and it smells really nice. It barely smells of anything at all. Okay, so now really quickly for the charity shop things that I got. I'll show you the um, jewellery first. I just got these three bracelets and I really like them. The first one I got is just this really big chunky gold um, band. And it looks like that. So it's just like that all the way around, um, not sure what it's made out of, I think it's probably like brass or something but it's not tarnished at all so it's barely been worn if at all and I just think it looks really nice and statementy. Um, I'm kind of getting a bit more into gold at the moment, I don't have a lot of gold things. Um, I'm much more of a silver because I have a cool tone skin um, colour. Next is this little bangle here and it um, struck me as soon as I saw it. I Because uh, it's a snake, it struck me because snakes strike. <laughs> It has um, little rhinestones for the eyes, but one is missing. Um, and I do have little rhinestones that I could put in its place. But I think what I'm going to do is take out the rhinestones and fill the eye holes in with like black. Um, because I just think it will be more simple that way. I don't really want it glittery or sparkly. So I think I'm just going to fill the eyes in with black or something like that. Um, we'll see, but I just really love the print on the side as well. So yeah, these were two for a pound. The next one is another kind of chunky um, bracelet, and it's in silver this time. And it opens at the side here, and it's really simple. It's just got one little cross. So yeah, that's that. I really like this again. It's really simple, but just. I don't know, would just kind of jazz up 
an outfit. Um, so yeah, love it. Next things I got from the charity shop were these three little glass um, jar things and they were three for two pounds which is really nice they're all you know not chipped or broken or anything What I think I'm going to use these for is my little nice smelly oils that I have um, I have three that I'm kind of um, using at the moment. They're all by Claremont and May. Um, you can get these like at garden centres or kind of boutique shops. And I have one in white gold, um, one in paradise, and one in honey vanilla. So I have three, which is really kind of convenient because I have three of these. So I'm probably gonna just empty these little bottles into them. Um, and then I can, you know, I just think it'll be really cute on my desk just to kind of lift up, have a little smell, you know, take the lid off, let the smell kind of seep into the room um, and then pop the lid on when I'm done. I just think it looks nicer than these little, um, you know, kind of boring little glass tiny bottles. I think it looks much more lovely and mysterious and old fashioned. So the next thing I got is this absolutely gorgeous little tiny oil lamp. Now I love oil lamps, I've always had a bit of a fascination with oil lamps um, and I saw this little tiny one here and I thought it was just an ornament at first but then I realised that the little pin that you turn actually worked, it had a proper wick in it and everything. Um, so yeah, I was like having that and it was only a pound and it actually works So I was like so happy and it's just really cute and simple, but really lovely So on the way home I stopped at a hardware store, picked up a little bottle of paraffin or it's called, I think it's outdoor or indoor light fluid or something like that um, but it's called paraffin is the chemical um, and I just filled this little bottom bit up with paraffin, um, lit the wick and it worked straight away and you turn this little dial to make the flame bigger or smaller and it literally is just the cutest loveliest little thing ever um, I'm just gonna have this kind of sat on my desk um, and I think I'll put it on at night when I'm like reading a book and I just think oh my god it's gonna be lovely um, I think it'll look great in pictures as well kind of you know in the background of pictures when I'm taking photos of makeup or whatever um yeah love it oh god i'm in love with it i was quite scared of it at first i thought it was gonna blow up and i lit it and then i was like oh what am i gonna do it's gonna explode but it didn't next thing i got from the charity shop is another kind of weird little trinket if you watched my last video um you'd see that i bought some solid um kind of blocks that you melt on um, a burner and the one I have at the moment is really simple here it is um, I just went and got it here's the one that I have at the moment and I do like it but it's not actually mine it's my Nana's um, and yeah it's just kind of not quite me it's lovely and everything but it's just not quite me um, and I was kind of looking around today for oil burners saw a couple in like um, Bevan's which is just a kind of hardware-y, garden -y shop um, quite like those but didn't buy them and then I saw this one in the charity shop and I was just fell in love straight away so I'll just take this top bit off here's the bottom part and what you do is you put the candle in there so a little tea light candle um, and then that's how it works it goes in there and it has all these holes where the light will shine through and here's the top part um, and it's a little teapot and you take the lid off and you put your oil in there or your solid um, blocks that, I'm, that you melt um, and yeah and then you put the lid on and pop it onto here and the candle will heat up 
um, the bottom of this and it'll melt and it'll smell gorgeous but it's just the fact that it's a little teapot and it's just so cute and it's a really nice um, colour you can see it's an ombud effect Yeah, just absolutely love this. I think it's adorable, really different, so me. Um, yeah, and this was £3 in the charity shop, which is a really good price, because um, normally these oil burners, for a decent big one like this, they are quite expensive. Um, so yeah, and I think this is vintage as well. I'm not sure, but I love it. It's just so wonderful so that's everything guys i've actually got a couple of things from holland and barrett some healthy kind of things but i will make a separate video on that right after this one so watch out for that um it should be up straight after this one um yeah thanks for watching guys i will see you very soon um don't forget to like rate comment subscribe all that good stuff bye